Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about top SQL interview questions, which is asked by the panels nowadays. Please follow my channel for the top interview questions and the top concepts. If you go to the questions perspective, these are the list of questions which is asked by the interview panels in the recent days. It is a collection of all the company interview questions. The first question is rate yourself in the SQL server on the scale of 1 to 10. Here 1 is the least and 10 is the best. If you see 1 is the least, 10 is best. It means that based on your confidence, you need to tell the figure. If you say is a 5, it is average or it is a middle. If you give 8, it is above average and the good. If you give 3 or 4, it means that you simply have the knowledge on the SQL server. Better not to go with the interview with the 3 or 4 figures. Please prepare well and attend the interview and get an opportunity and get the job as easy. Please try to prepare very hard and and don't lose the opportunity whenever you get it. Next, if you go to the technical questions, what is the difference between drop, truncate and delete? This is a basic point and it is one of the important question in the SQL server. Drop, truncate and delete. <clears throat> drop is the one which will help us to permanently drop the SQL server objects from the SQL server management studio. It deals with a objects, not with a data. Drop deals with an objects only, not with a data. Truncate. Truncate and delete is going to deal with a data, not with a objects. Truncate is the one which will help you to delete the data in one shot. You cannot delete based on the conditions if you go with a truncate. And the commit and rollback does not work on the truncate. If you go to the delete, you can delete all the data in one shot from a table or you can delete the data step by step based on the conditions. And lastly, you can go with a commit and rollback when you go with a delete command. So those are the differences between drop, truncate and delete. Next, what is a normalization and denormalization? See, normalization is the one if you keep the data in a a way like a, rather than uh, keeping the data in multiple columns if you handle in a very efficient manner that is a normalization there are different normalization techniques in the sql server and denormalization is the opposite to the normalization if you want a detailed information on the normalization and the denormalization please check the uh, video in my video collection Next. what are the joins and its importance in the sql server so joins are the one which will help us to combine the data between the tables. And there are different type of joins in the SQL server. Inner join, self join, outer join and Cartesian join. If you want a detailed information, please check for the video in the video collection. And in the description, I will be giving you the video link as well for each and every question. Please go through that if you want a detailed information. Next, what is the difference between join and union? This is also similar to that. So I'll give you the video collection for this uh, point. Please go through it in the description section. Next, what is a subquery? Subquery is the one which executes first, then the outer query is going to execute. So when you want to identify the, like there are some scenarios where I don't need all the data. I need only specific related data. So that time I might need to go for a sub query. Next, how to find the second and third highest salary from employee table. See, this question can be answered with the help of the sub queries or the other way is also CTE. So I have a detailed video for the second uh, and third highest salaries and about the sub query. I'll give you the link in the description section. Please go through that. Next, what is a class? When you are identifying a, when you are generating a row number or a 
a dense rank you might need a class class is the one which will help you to give you the partition or something else so i'll give you the video link to for the detailed information in the description section please go with that what is the difference between procedure and function the procedure is again a block of statements and function is also a block of statements function is a pre compiled block of statements and it contains in and out parameter but function is the one which contains in parameters only but it compulsory returns a value procedure may or may not return a value next can we use out parameter in the function next what is alias in the sql server yes alias is a very important actually so when you don't want to go with a, a the exact name of the sql server object you can go with the alias names you can rename the means it does not physically rename the object but in the query the query which will give you the um, uh, meaningful name based on your requirement how to optimize sql queries there are many ways to optimize the sql queries so i'll give you the detailed explanation video link in the description section please go with it what is the difference between care where care and and where care yes we already talked about in the other video so let's please go through that yes, what is auto increment so if you go with there is a identity key constraint so that key constraint will help you to auto increment row to row what is a trigger in the sql server trigger is the one which will help you to do the audit kind of stuff not only audit there are many scenarios you can use for the triggers there are two type of triggers instead of trigger and after use triggers how to fetch the unique records from a table is one of the important question here you need to use a distinct keyword based on the columns how many indexes can be created on the top of a table yes there are many indexes can be created on the top of a table but only one clustered index can be created on the top of a table what are the constraints in the sql server there are different type of constraints in the sql server first one is the primary key second is the not null unique check and default what is the difference between unique and not null so i'll give you the detailed description video link in the uh, description section please go through that unique is the one which does not allow which which allows unique values only which does not allow duplicate values in the table column but not null it does not allow nulls in a specific column value how to get the current users user id in the sql server so there are different system functions are there which will help you to get the current login user id in the sql query window with that system functions you can easily identify how to get the current user ids have you used the sql profiler yes so it is one of the important uh, tool for the sql developers so which will help you to identify the what are all the queries what are all the procedures which are executing on the top of a database instance on the top of the user id on the top of the instance so it is one of the important tool which is provided by the microsoft for the sql developers what is the execution plan execution plan is the one which will help you to identify how much time or how much cost it is spent on a particular condition let us say there is a sample query select star from employee where employee id is equal to 10 so if you observe the execution plan of the query you can easily say where exactly time is consuming more where exactly the cost is consuming more so based on the uh, consumption you can tune that particular query and even microsoft sql server itself provides a suggestions for us to create indexes on the top of the table to increase the query performance so you can use that or you can write a customized indexes on the top of a table to improve the performance so those are the list of questions which is um, which i captured uh, from based on the different interviews so here i just explained on the high level if you want a detailed information for each and every question so please check the description of the video so there i will be giving you the detailed video for each and every question there you will get full and full and final length answer for each and every question still if you have any other questions if you have any other scenarios 
please comment in the comment section i'll try to answer those each and every question that's it thank you for watching please let me know if you have any other questions on sql server msbi ssis ssrs ssas please comment your questions in the comment section i'll try to answer those questions that's it thank you for watching keep watching our videos and subscribe thank you